So, welcome oh, to man. the Gamer Jets Duo Podcast Numero 5, the last one of the year. There, are, we have lots of things to talk about because we're just gonna, I don't know, we're just gonna overview, take a look back at the year, you know, see, I don't know, take a look back at the year in entertainment, gaming, everything, because lots of, lots of good stuff happened this year. And, and bad, bad stuff. stuff. Yep. Yep. Like... Um, people died. This is true. One of those people, I believe his name started with an R. I believe it was Robin yeah, Williams. Yeah, Robin Williams. Yeah, <laughs> that's one of them. Um, yeah, did, of did anybody? Oh, that. I feel bad that I don't know this guy's name, but the guy because I don't watch uh, Fast and Furious. But there was a guy from Fast and Furious that died. Uh. <laughs> I'm, um, I'm gonna look it up. Um, yeah, I know you're talking about. That. Yeah, I don't know his name, but I don't. I've never seen a Fast and Furious. I know. I feel people are. Uh, if like, you watch Sack one, watch Fast Five. That's like the only good one I've I've watched. Hmm. Yeah. Interesting. Well, I think we should cover whatever news we have, and then get into like game of the year and stuff for us and all that. Paul um, Walker, rip in peace. Okay. Oh yeah, Paul Walker. Yeah, for a yeah. second it sounded like you said Pollocker. Just like, no. <laughs> Paul sounds Walker. like some sort of bathroom cleaner. Uh, I don't. know. Yeah, Robin Williams and Paul Walker, two notorious. Yeah. Actors. I think there may have been Lion. some other people, but I'm not. No, there's. Oh, there was that one guy that was that in. One chick. Wasn't um, that guy that was in Hunger Games? There was a guy that was. In oh Hunger yes. Games. Yeah. He was like. Didn't he have, like, a heart attack or something? Yeah, I'm not sure. I think he was, like, the game maker in the show. I from the Game of Thrones, rip. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I did hear about that. Not Game of Thrones. Oh, yeah, there was a Game of Thrones guy. I said Game of Thrones, <laughs> but I didn't mean it. But, yeah, there was a Game of Thrones guy who died. Dang. Dang. We're, just, we're just kicking it off with all the bad stuff, you know? <laughs> just boom, let's just throw out all the deaths. Get it over with. Yeah, let's <laughs> get all the negative stuff out of here. Yeah. Um... There is a decent amount of like news and such that actually happened uh, in the past week. We did delay this podcast because we wanted, well, I specifically really wanted time with some other games to really decide. And Dragon Age. And even right now, not sure what my game of the year is, but we'll we'll dis- we'll sort of discuss it and feel it out, and then uh, we. I thought it'd be more interesting for you guys to hear actually what our thought process is behind a lot of this stuff. So yeah. Um, since we're just going to start off with all the bad stuff, we got the, uh, got the PSN going down. Yeah. On Christmas. On Christmas. And Christmas, and the day after. And the day after that. (laughs) Gosh dang it, man. No PSN. Yeah. But I had so. Yeah, and Xbox Live. Xbox Live went down as well. Yeah, Xbox Live went down. So a group called Lizard Squad, is, those are the people that are supposedly taking uh, taking credit for that, for, oh my gosh, my chair is sitting on something. For you know what they say, don't give them publicity, though. Yeah, well, it's too late, I already said it. <laughs> but yeah, they um, they supposedly took down the PSN and the Xbox Live. And Xbox Live, I, I hate to note this because I am definitely way more of a PlayStation fan than I am Xbox, but I you got to note the facts you know the cold hard facts mm-hmm. xbox live was up a significant amount of time way before they were down was up. only two days i believe i think it might have even that been people, only and, and um well, yeah, it was two days. more people were have like less people were uh, affected by it yep yeah they were they were up like the night before um the last day like three days after christmas yeah. or two days they were up the night before that and then, so, like, Clayton was, my, my brother-in-law came into town, my sister and my brother-in-law, for Christmas, and he had his Xbox One over there. Also, yeah, my, my room is different. I moved my couch up. I got mm-hmm. this crate <laughs> that is sitting there Holy as a lamp holder, which is a yeah. crappy lamp. And then over, that's a jacket. Am I even pointing this the right way? Wow, my jacket's blocking it. Yep. It Wait, jacket! Oh, my gosh. <laughs> <laughs> Get the jacket. Okay, here it is. 
Boom, TV. <laughs> that would be on the wall. <laughs> Big reveal. No, no, it's just on a bookshelf because that's all we had. But yeah, uh, so Clayton was over there playing his Xbox One, and I was over here. Sit- basically, what I did all freaking Christmas, the day after, and the day after that, was sit here and just like have PlayStation on the right monitoring, the computer on the left, and I was just watching Netflix and constantly testing the internet connection over on the right. Just <laughs> You're going, watching come up and like refreshing <laughs> all these different people's Twitter accounts, like the Ask PlayStation, refreshing freaking all these different like hack hacker groups that are like that were supposedly trying to help bring it back and all this. So yeah. <laughs> I was just it was it was kind of miserable for me to be honest. It wasn't one of my favorite Christmases, but it was still a great Christmas. Any Christmas well, for, is a good Christmas. Andrew had a good Christmas. <laughs> Andrew had a. Andrew is like best friends with. On. Yeah, Andrew's like best friends with Santa Claus or something. Yeah. It's it's freaking ridiculous. So we added up how much money Andrew had spent on him through like, <clears throat> not just with his parents but with everyone. So like, with his relatives, with all the stuff that his parents gave him. He had a thousand six hundred dollars spent on him. <laughs> Ridiculous. You know what? I'm actually gonna find the picture right now of the stuff, and I'm gonna show it to everyone. He he sent us a picture of all of his presents mixed <laughs> like in in one picture. Holy, we added it up. That's what we used to add it up. He had like six hundred eighty bucks or something without that picture. He like just in cash, and then he has all this freaking crap. I. I I can't believe got it. A bag of clothes, hand me down for my dad. <laughs> All right, you gotta wear clothes. This is, you know. But my sister got me the best clothes. gifts ever. She got me honey and barbecue sauce from Alabama. So. I'm yeah. Looking in the wrong Facebook chat for the picture, GG. But did you uh, say it's honey barbecue sauce? No. Oh, I it's, misheard. Uh, <laughs> honey with like comb in it. Like, I want to go get it. Oh, so sure. You, I'm finding this picture real quick. Yeah, you find that picture. I'll go find my honey. All right. But, yeah. Well, Eric's gone. Let's talk real bad about him. I I mean, nothing. I would never. Um, Let's find this picture. It's... I can name a couple of things he got. He got, like, four games, like, five Blu-ray movies, freaking six, seven books. Like, holy crap. Oh, he's back with the honey. Yeah, he's I am. Back. But um, yeah, this is like, wow. Um, I can't see wow. it because my sister ate all of it. Wow. GG, dude. Or because you have a horrible camera. Oh wait, no wait. It's like it's like it was like this in there, and now she ate some of it. Now it's like. I mean, I can still see some, it. But like, yeah. Yeah, it was in there, and it's like the best honey like ever. Okay, I I just don't really <laughs> normally care about honey in general, you know. Well, neither did I until I went to Jungle Gyms over in Cincinnati, Ohio, and picked up a ten dollar honey. All right, all right, yeah. Okay. And good. then I got this best sauce oh, yeah. in the world. Yeah. From Alabama. Nice. So yeah. wait, that's the honey isn't from Alabama, or is it? Is um, it... no. Okay, it's, that's from a different but... place. The place, well, she, they got yeah, she got it at the same place, Jungle Gyms, but they ship food oh, okay. internationally, so you can get like Swedish food and Chinese food, like everything's there. Yeah, and it's like a mile wide. <laughs> Something crazy. Like that. You know, this might actually because I'm doing a bunch on my computer. This might be making the frame rate be really skippy, but you never know. And also, I don't <laughs> care. <laughs> no, I'm just but I found the picture. I'm going to. Let's see here. I'm going to open it, and then I'm going to rotate it real quick. If it'll... What the heck? Okay, there we go. What, what the heck? Boop! Okay, here it is. Here's the picture. Let's just m- make it large. Look at that crap! Look at that freaking crap! L- uh, like... <sighs> Assassin's Creed Rogue. Dragon Age Inquisition. I actually can't tell what that what third is game play is. Rogue? Yeah, you really. won't have time to play Rogue. <laughs> what is that third game? It has oh, The Last of Us Remastered. It has a bunch of shine yeah. on it. GTA Five, 
Uh, I think those are the Lord of the Rings books and the Hobbit books. And then, of course, the Lord of the Rings trilogy extended edition right there. Two mm-hmm. freaking pairs of shoes. I think, I bet that's a $50 PS. PS. Like, no, that, yeah, that's a $50 PlayStation Plus thing. The Assassin's Creed Unity shirt. No, it's he, it was a PlayStation Plus. It was like his actual membership. Okay. Yeah. Um, and then one, two, three, four, five, six. Twenty twenty five dollar comic books. Holy crap! Um, Captain America: Winter Soldier, Guardians of the Galaxy. Don't know what that other movie is, or that one. Thor, Batman: mm. The Court of Owls, which is like twenty bucks. So yeah, quite I'd a bit. I'd say Andrew had a good Christmas. Oh, and gold wireless headset. <laughs> which I'm happy for. I'm glad he has that because yeah. he had a horrible mic. And but that, it still doesn't help with his connection. <laughs> yeah, it doesn't help with his connection. And the problem is, is his new mic now, he sounds better, but there's a ridiculous amount of background noise in his freaking house. It's it's insane. Um, So let's see here. Uh, Yeah, so I just really wanted to point out the stupid PlayStation thing. It was really annoying. The uh, <laughs> I could tell Eric has someone in his room, and it's fine. We'll just continue. Let's see here. Um, I know it's in my room because my door's locked. But they oh. were, like, banging on my door. <laughs> Get out <of> here! <laughs> yeah. So, yeah, PlayStation Plus was down. I I just binge-watched all of Parks and Rec because I don't that know. That show's so good. You, did you treat yourself? <laughs> treat, yeah, yeah, no, I didn't treat myself because freaking PlayStation wasn't here. <laughs> And today I wake up. Oh, so yesterday I got to level uh, 30. Well, I was always 31 on my Titan. Not always, but I'd been 31 on my Titan for a while. Then I got to level 30 on my Warlock. So now I can do the Nightfall, the Weekly Heroic, and the Raid twice. The Raids uh, twice a week. So I was I was super excited. And I and I played Dragon Age for like four hours, which. My experience with RPGs is that, like, I try all these RPGs that are so highly recommended, like Skyrim, Persona 4 Gold, and all sorts of stuff like that, and I always give them a shot, and I'm always like, I don't know, I've heard so many good things about it, I'll try it, and I just never end up liking them. I don't know why, but I just don't. But freaking Dragon Age, I was like, this is the last one, because Dragon Age was, like, super highly recommended. Like, it's apparently really, really good. So I got that. At the VGAs. Yeah, yeah. Probably on multiple places, but uh, yeah, so I, I got that, and I was like, if if this doesn't do it for me, then I'm just freaking done with RPGs. I've never tried again. This is it, but I'm freaking, I, I'm freaking really liking that game. Like, I wish I had more time. If somebody, if they could have given me, if my parents could have given me time for Christmas, I would have really taken that over anything. I'm going to hear Teddy have, like... 20 more days on your Christmas break. Hey! <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, here's something that's not like, uh, it's not good news, it's not bad news, it's just kind of funny. Let me pull this up. It's, uh, it's basically just like memes that PlayStation itself, I'm pretty sure, oh wait, no, no, no. It's a BuzzFeed article. Freaking BuzzFeed is bad. Yeah. But uh, it's a bunch of pictures that are actually kind of, uh, kind of made me laugh. Let me let me scroll through here. Let me get this the red says. Big ears, it's how you know they're the main character and it's like this is just a way to celebrate celebrate PlayStation's uh, 20th anniversary and it's like uh Jack and um wow, I feel bad. Dexter. No, it's 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 Ratchet or Ratchet Rat is Rat no, Ratchet's the Ratchet's Ratchet the Clint. dude, You're right? Thinking about the other I know, there there's two of them in the picture. There's yes. from yeah. So Ratchet and Clank, Ratchet's the the furry dude, right? He's oh, clanks the Jack robot. And... Ratchet. Yes. Yeah, it's Jack and Ratchet. I haven't played those two. I played Cy Cooper back in the day, but I didn't play Jack and Dexter or Ratchet and Clank. Oh, so good. And then I saw I like this Destiny one that's like class system is class systems are all about where you sit at the table. <laughs> and it's just the three dudes. Diamonds are a player's best friend. Arrows it takes one to kill a person and eight to kill a deer. <laughs> you know, that's actually really true. I hadn't yeah, seen I that one. I just saw some of these and I skimmed and I was like, "Hey, I'll read these on the podcast." Let's see. Graffiti. How am I supposed to hold the freaking controller again? <laughs> That's true, dude. I, I always, I always held it like this. Hold on. Like I mean, this. 
Did you hold I it like hold that? It like this, and then you spray can like this. Like really? I did it like this. When I was actually spraying, I just did like that, you know? You just Very hold carefully. it like a spray can. But you that didn't it, work. And... But that didn't work for me. It, it worked just didn't. perfectly. No, I, like I would do this, and like I would shake it, and then start doing it, and then it would freaking fly everywhere all over the screen. So I had to do it like this really <laughs> carefully. But I did shake did, it like did this. Did you cover up? Wait, never mind. Maybe. I don't know. Maybe maybe if covering the light bar. I have no idea. I have no idea. But I, I did, did I did the shaking like this was freaking awesome. I don't know why. But yeah. cuz it I think the uh the sa the sound of the actual, you know how in spray cans is like the uh little ball or whatever that's in it. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I think the sound of that came through your speakers or your headset and through the controller. So like mm. you shake this and it's like it's in here. Oh, it's so cool. It's so gimmicky, yeah. but it was awesome. <laughs> Let's see here. Um, doo -doo -doo. Nathan Drake running from explosion since 2007. <laughs> chicken business because Herc straps bombs to chickens this time around. Not sure what that's about. I feel like I should know. Feel like I want to say it's like a no. I don't. I have I don't no idea. Orange is the new color that bad guys use to light up their faces. Orange has always <laughs> been the color for freaking hell gas. That's been like that forever. Yeah, true. Smoke kills. This is true. I Smoke. Remember, and in video games. Um, yarn is the real superhero or whatever, and it's like little big planet characters all dressed as freaking uh, superheroes. And then teamwork is being randomly assigned to a group of guardians <laughs> who better not steal your heavy ammo. That was one of my yeah, favorites. Yeah. I love freaking doing the... Um, I, one of my favorite things about Crucible and Destiny is when we're playing it with just three of us and doing skirmish. It's still one of my favorite Crucible. I was playing Skirmish this morning with the Hawkman. Oh, <laughs> and it's freaking ridiculous. <laughs> I feel weird playing Skirmish with just like me or just like two of us, you know? I do well. Yeah, I mean, I do well. Myself. It's just like. I, blows I, it's Christmas, dudes. Yeah, I just play it and it's like, it's just not the same thing, you know? It's way more fun like sticking together and reviving your teammates and stuff. Yeah, I don't know. But, um, let's take a second. To look back on our year. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? Let's look back. Okay. PlayStation 4 came out not this year. We can look back and look off into the distance. No. Um, the PlayStation 4 came out two years ago. Not last year. but Or last year. Not not this year, but 2013. It came out last November. 2013 November. <laughs> yeah. So, Nine. like, this upcoming year... Yeah, I, th I think it might have been 9th, actually. I'm or not sure. 17th. Or 11th. You know what? <laughs> I'm literally just going to like look on the calendar. 2013th, November. I think it was 12th? I'm going to say 12th because I know it was a, a Tuesday. Hmm. And it's the Tuesdays are 5, 12, 19, and 26. So I'm going to say it's the 12th. But yeah. It uh, came out, so, like, that means that this is, like, the next year for, uh... 29th. Yeah. So, 15th. wait, 29th? 15th. Okay. All right. Yeah. But, um, wait, 15th? That's not even a Tuesday. That's crazy. Yeah, it was the 15th and 29th for uh, 15th Europe and Friday. Australia. Did I really pick it up on a Friday? Yeah, no, yeah right. it was on Friday. You were, like, all pumped about it, and you played all week. You played Black Oh, Black. Yeah. Yeah, okay, yeah. Yeah, I, that's what I was going to say. I'm not going to look over those, but, like, the games, a couple of the games that I really did uh, really like were, holy crap, I just closed everything. I didn't close everything, but I minimized everything accidentally. But, <laughs> <laughs> GG. The game, I played Black Flag and Resogun in a couple of those, like, when the game, when the system first came out. And then, so it really means that, like, the next year is the year where the next-gen consoles, like, really freaking hit their stride you know they start picking up right. momentum and getting way better games like unity <laughs> was supposed to be one of those games where like it's only for next gen type of thing it's uh yeah. they have more time to focus on that so let's see what happened in the beginning of the year let's just go through the year uh second sun second sun was the earliest without a doubt that it was, was good it actually wasn't broken I lo second <laughs> sun is great. high up on my list for game of the year it's not um it's kind of, it's one of the ones that i'm tied with thinking about because honestly it was a quality game um mm -hmm. it used the uh 
DualShock 4 in a way that were kind of gimmicky, but they didn't get annoying. They weren't, they were, I still yeah. enjoyed doing the graffiti, even though it was dumb. Yeah. I still thought it was fun. And then, uh, like, and it was a full game, and it was done, and it was yeah. great. And I had a great time with First it. First Light came out along First with First Light it. was fantastic, too. First Light was, that was the thing. Like, I went back. And I was like, man, Second Son seems so forever ago. And I got First Light, and I jumped into it, and I finished it, and I played it, and I was like, gosh dang, I freaking love these games. Like, First Light was awesome. I don't know. Infamous Second Son was It's, it's coming out for free, First Light is. Oh, yeah, dude, you're, you're going to have to get on that in January. It's not mm-hmm. that long, too, so you can finish it pretty quickly. It's so good, though. But, um, yeah, Jan- I think that was in February. I'm fairly sure that uh, Infamous Second Son was in February. I don't think anything really of significance came out in January, do you? I don't think so. No. No. There was some stuff in the summer. I'm fairly sure. I feel like there was, but I'm... Nothing like... Yeah, nothing huge. Well, I mean, in the summer there was uh, Destiny Alpha, I think. Yeah. Well, E3 was kind of a big thing. We can go over E3. E3 was pretty big. Yeah. I, but the, the freaking games, though, like, I'm trying to think. I'm like, because I know there were games that came out before summer and before November, but, like, I all I have on my mind right now are all these fall games. I can't think of mm-hmm. any games that came out earlier. I'm going to type in games of 2014. Let's see. Oh, wow. Dude, you literally type that in on Google, and it says video games frequently mentioned on the web, and there's, like, a Google <laughs> sidebar type of thing. Yeah. You know how, like, Google does the calculators mm-hmm. and stuff like that? It's like that. Let's see here. Um, Titanfall came out earlier this year. Yeah. I forgot that that was this year. Titanfall was, a, it was, was big. pretty early. It was, like, really big for, like, a few months, and then it kind of just got really quiet. I liked it. It was fun. Um, I, it was fun. I definitely played on PC. not game yeah. of the year material because it was oh, no. just multiplayer, you know. But uh, it was. I still really liked it. I I I had a lot of fun with it. I bought it. I still like it. But uh, yeah, I forgot that came out this early this year. That came mm-hmm. out. I'm gonna okay. I'm gonna open the link, but I'm gonna guess March. But I'm gonna open the link real quick. I'm gonna open Wikipedia. I feel like March 11th. Yeah. Dude, if I remember correctly, I don't know why, but I think on the week of Titanfall, multiple things came out. You know? Yeah. I can't remember what they were, but I definitely remember that being a thing. Wolfenstein, yeah, The New Order. Wolfenstein, I heard, was really good. That was in May. I thought that might have been earlier. Let's see. I'm scrolling through. Elder Scrolls Online came out for PC this year. I'm fairly sure. Yeah, it was this yeah. year. It was this year. In April. Yeah. The day after my birthday. Yeah. It came out for PC. But April it was 3rd. supposed to come out on next gen and consoles and all that the same day. And uh, there's still no sign of it. Yeah. Nothing. So, I, honestly, when that comes to PS4, it's like I kind of want to give it a shot. But, like, I don't know. I don't need an MMO. I, yeah. got, I got way too much to do. Um, let's see, any earlier stuff? The Evil Within is newer. Let's see. Forza is newer. Ooh, that is awesome. Valiant Hearts was pretty, uh... I heard it was pretty that was early. It, it wasn't super early, but it was... It was up there. Let's see, what day was that? What month? It was... <laughs> that was June. Yeah, that was a summer game. It was a summer game. Yeah. That was one of the ones. Uh, The Vanishing of Ethan Carter got a lot of, uh... A lot of press and it was supposedly really good. That came out in September. Still early. Let's also, see. Destiny came out in September. Yeah, Destiny was in September. Um, when was Child of Light? I feel like I that feel was like more in September recent. as well. April. Interesting. Oh, that was forever ago then. Huh. April. Yes, that's what? one of the hey. April twenty ninth. Hmm. This Google thing is so helpful right now. Thief came out early in the thief was thief was in that freaking titanfall week that was one of the games that okay that was it that was it i remember when titanfall came out that like other games were coming out that week Mm -hmm. so yeah thief let me make sure yeah february 25th it was uh it was near 
Um, yeah, Just Dance 2015. <laughs> and FIFA. FIFA. <laughs> MLB Apparently 14. People are like show. really big into FIFA. I just don't understand. Yeah, some people are. I just don't necessarily uh, care. I hate to break into them. Yeah. But yeah, I feel like there were some earlier games, but I can't find any. So yeah, nothing I can like really remember. remember I feel that. like there was freaking something else in that Titanfall weekend. It's gonna bug me that I can't remember it. But oh well. Mm. So yeah, let's see. Infamous Second Son was early. Titanfall was early. Thief was early. Thief was supposedly gonna be... People were looking forward to it because it was like that whole Wolfenstein was, thing yeah. where it was like the... based off of an older game yeah, reboot older. type of thing. Yeah. Yeah, and then it, uh, it was pretty bad, supposedly. Like, the mechanics were yeah. broken and all that. And I was tempted to get it because people were saying it was like first, cur- first person Assassin's Creed type of thing and I was like, that sounds interesting. But Dude. Then when I saw the reviews, think- I was like, nope. If you want a first person Assassin's Creed, you get freaking Dishonored. Yeah, I've also heard that. Dishonored was. Games. No, that was last oh, year, wasn't it? Was 2013. It? Yeah, it was last year. <laughs> yeah, it was one of my favorite games of 2013. I've heard so much about Dishonored, and I've wanted to get it. Um, if you, it's like I'll get it's it like soon. three bucks on on Steam or something. Yeah, I I might Five. get it. And then I'll probably not play it, but I'll get it. I do need to... I will grab it probably during the summer sale, or holiday sale, not freaking summer. Yeah. But, uh, because I mean... <laughs> <laughs> but, let's see here. Yeah, so Infamous, uh, Thief, what was the other one? I, I forget. I don't, I don't care. Titanfall. Titanfall. Um, and then we move into, like, uh, Valiant Hearts was a, was a summer game. There wasn't that many summer games. Then we move into September. There was a decent amount of September games. Um, oh, yeah. wait a minute. Freaking Watch Dogs was in May. That was in May. Oh, true. Yeah, Watch Dogs was supposed to be really, really big. and was not really, really big because it was kind of crap. <laughs> Why do people were in my room so bad? <laughs> I don't know, mate. I don't like, know. They're like furiously turning the knob thinking. <laughs> you know. Well, they only have to wait. We still have like 30 minutes. It's like I, tell them, I told them I'm recording. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Um, so, <laughs> so Watch Dogs came out in May. Um, the game was really hyped because of E3, and it looked awesome. Dude, and I was so hyped for it. See, I, I, I still don't like when you tell this story, because it doesn't make sense. It's a dumb story. It it's dumb reasoning. It doesn't make sense at all, because I was, like, so pumped to get it. I wanted to pre-order it. I wanted to get it, because I and freaking then... love the futuristic uh, free roam uh, hacking stuff. And then, like, one day, I was like, eh. Yeah, see, that I that I part I annoys understand. the crap out of me because you're like, I was so hyped for it, and then nothing happened, and I wasn't hyped anymore. I guess it's because I didn't get it. I don't know. Yeah, that's but. what that's what it is. I looked at stuff about it like before uh, a, a week or two before it came out, and I was like, this actually does look pretty cool, and I have some money. I'll pre-order this, and I'll play it. And I liked it, but I honestly, I didn't like it enough to finish it, and that's, uh, <laughs> that's saying something because I finished – most games, unless they're freaking Dragon Age Inquisition. But, yeah, a game that has a reasonable amount of time frame, I usually finish. But no. No. Oh, dude! A game that... Uh, oh, well, let's finish the Watch Dogs talk. It was supposedly... People saw that it was really buggy. I didn't encounter too many bugs when I played. It was on, it, was, it was more of a PC thing. Yeah, everyone said it was really buggy on PC and all this. And they were like, saying, oh, it's crap. But that really annoyed me at the time because I was like, the game's not crap. It's not, like, absolute garbage. It's still good. But it just didn't, like, interest me enough to finish it. I don't know. I got caught by other stuff. But um, a game that came out this year officially is Hearthstone. Hearthstone oh, yeah. came out this year. Like, that's crazy to think. I feel like Hearthstone's been around forever, but it really hasn't. And it's, I started playing it quite a while ago. I was like, hey, you should play this. <laughs> yeah, that's true. Kind of um, like when I played League and it was like, hey, yeah. You should play this. And then I was like, ooh, I'll play this. And you freaking skyrocketed and you're like, and I come, you know I, like, I come back and talk to you. You're like, oh, yeah, I have like uh, several hours on it. And I'm, like, I'm oh. like level 30 now. Yeah. But, uh. Bronze 5. League. I miss League. <laughs> so. I'm four. Bronze 4 or something. 4. Yeah. That was the original one I was placed in. I bet if I had kept playing, I would have been in five. I just freaking, I liked League, but I did not, did not 
have the freaking put time so for it. So much time into it's, it. Like, I, I did put a lot of time into it because I really liked it. But then when I realized how much freaking time I was putting into it, I was like... All these other know, games were just being neglected. I'm done. But it's it wasn't just that. It was just that, like... My life was being neglected because I was like, I just want to play League. You were throwing like 20 bucks into it every week. Oh, yeah. Something. And I was happy to. You know, I still don't regret yeah. that time spent. Well, but I just realized that it was like, it's just too much time was spent right. on it. Because it, it just takes too much time. Like, if I if I play it like I do Destiny now, which I did play it like that, I would be like, mm. oh, man, I'm going to get home and I'm going to play League. I'm going to try and get better. But, like... With Destiny, I can do a decent amount in a, in a short in, in like an hour, two Your hours. I can I can get things done and I can do a lot of things. progress. Yeah, and I can be satisfied with that. And I can go play other games if I want. I can do whatever after that. But on League, like I would be like, all right, I'm gonna go get better. And I would start playing, realize it's two o'clock. Like that type of thing happened every time. Like it would just yeah. it freaking because. You're like, all right, just another match, and you would end up... If you played four matches after I got home from work, I'd be up until two. Like, it's because four matches are, like, that. four hours. I yeah, that. Yeah, that's why I stopped, because it's you can't get as much done in the time frame. I still like it, though. Mm -hmm. Does Heroes of the Storm take as much time, do you think? Uh, No, the, their the games... The matches are shorter, do you think? Matches are a lot shorter. It's... Okay. It focuses less on farming and gradually getting more powerful, and then just with uh, instead it's just getting in there and getting map control and yeah, uh, map control. So is... me and Eric got into the Heroes of the Storm beta, uh, alpha. It's not even beta yet. We were in yeah. the alpha, and it, it still runs really well. But yeah. <laughs> it was kind of shocking. It has freaking windowless uh, border borderless window <laughs> yeah. so we we got into that alpha like i don't know this week last week and we played like a match or two and uh i don't even know when like last saturday or something yeah and it was the i don't know i really map. like it if i was ever to like start playing a moba again it would be that one because that one's really cool it's very very high quality yeah definitely but i don't think i will because i have freaking so many other games and my so internet crazy. keeps going out <sighs> All right, what's what? What do we got next? Segway. Um. Well, I mean, I'm still going through some games of the year. We just got through early, of uh, 2014. We sort of got through the summer games too. Let's see. Let Segway two fall. Games, oh, so. Dark Souls two. That was a big thing. That was a March I game. Heard it was okay. I heard it was freaking fantastic, and I've heard no complaints mm -hmm. on Dark Souls two, <laughs> whatsoever. <coughs> I'm losing my voice. Let's see here. Um. Yeah, that's about all the. Uh, all the early and summer games. And then, freaking... There's so many fall games. So many good fall games. Yep. Like, uh... Okay, so let's just start with Destiny and move down the line. Freaking Destiny came out. And as if you guys have been watching this podcast, then you know that we're super hardcore into Destiny and it kind of controls our life now. So, mm -hmm. <laughs> uh... Yeah, that... Like, Destiny is what is definitely a nomination for game of the year for me because it legitimately is just it took over my life and i still don't <laughs> mind it like i i'm still happy to get on every day and do my dailies and stuff and raid every week and stuff and it's awesome but like that's an accomplishment for a game to do that you know i'm yeah. slowly approaching uh i've beaten the time i have in uh world of warcraft and I'm coming up on the time I have in League of Legends pretty quickly. I'll be past it in a month, two months. And that's that's with the freaking... I played World of Warcraft on and off for like a year. And this is with Destiny being out for like four months now. So yeah, it's yeah. it's a huge accomplishment. And you know, it's, really it was like crazy. It was like the second month Destiny came out. We like took a, a large break from it. Yeah, we Remember did. That? We played, wow, what, what, what even happened there? I forget. You know, I don't really know, to be totally honest. I, I think we just didn't really get the end game. To okay, be. that was when we weren't we weren't really uh, good at like doing the nightfalls and stuff. So we did like yeah. weeklies and did nothing else. Yeah, it's true. And maybe don't... like we did like one raid. I think we yeah we did, we like... did like one vault of glass or something. Then we just sort of took a break and then we came back and we were like, eh, let's let's try this again. And I think then is when it really hooked us. We used to yeah. play a lot of crucible and stuff, and then when we came back, mm -hmm. we sort of discovered the raids and all that. 
Yeah. And now hard rating and Crota's and they're both fun and challenging. <clears throat> yeah. Sometimes and easy. Now we all I mean, it's lots of fun. we all have two characters now. I'm pretty yeah. sure we all do we have two that are thirty. Oh, that's mm -hmm. so awesome. That's I awesome. have my hunter is thirty one and my Titan is thirty. Yeah. About to be level thirty one. My Titan's thirty one, my Warlock's thirty. And my hunter is twenty six. <laughs> so I just need to get him some gear. Oh, Close, yeah. dude. At least you got him to 20. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, freaking leveling's <laughs> rough after, like, being so into the end game. Leveling is freaking rough. Um, okay, fall games. Destiny. Huge. Freaking huge. For us, at least. They got, it got decent reviews, but, like, people were like, eh, I don't really know. And then, people, like, okay, in the comments like, of YouTube videos, it was either, I love Destiny, or Destiny's <laughs> crap. So. You know, here's the main thing, I think, Destiny, like, Disappointed a lot of people on. Uh, what I've heard is a rumor of their, their like lead writer left at like a crucial point of time, and they couldn't like finish a story, so they just like slapped it in the game. Apparently, there was like five different incarnations of Destiny, I, and that was yeah. That's there's, there's five different incarnations of every game that has ever developed. Yeah, <laughs> like, I know. That's how it works. I but, don't understand um, I don't why everyone points that out. People, Bungie is known for their story-driven FPS. Yeah, so people were... Yeah. Basically, people were the thing of... is, people were expecting, like, Mass Effect story, yeah. and that's not what it happened. And I don't get why people were expecting that, because that's not what was ever. Well, yet. they had every right to, because... They but Halo wasn't, what... like, Mass yeah, Effect was. RPG type of thing. People well, were no, 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 expecting no, 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 no. that. Yeah. I was at least expecting a Halo-esque story. See, I don't know why. I wasn't. I saw lore. all of the It MMO has the type lore to be good, though. I have read the Grimoire cards. I've read, read Fan Fix and all this stuff on our Destiny. And there is, like, See, some amazing lore out there. Yeah, it's not it's hard just... to fix. Like Next game, I hope it, it will be okay. Even with DLZ, I think... I really think that people don't agree with this, but I think the Dark Below was definitely a step up in story. People didn't like Dinklebot. It took Dinklebot out. Eris had a sort of interesting purpose, but there is there was definitely still hiccups, but it was better. Like, I don't know. Those I projects. mean, it was kind of similar to Kabar. Kabar went into the Vault of Glass, and he his fire team got in trouble, and now his armor pieces are for you to collect. <laughs> I didn't even know that. I See well, that's cool. Yeah. That's freaking cool. They I need to tell read, stuff like that in Grimoire the game. Card. Yeah, freaking why are why is crap like that hidden in Grimoire cards? Just freaking tell yeah. it in the game. Um, so let's I mean, move no, on we'll... from Destiny because we almost <laughs> always talk about Destiny forever yeah. because we love it. Um, Unity. Yeah, Unity came out. That was a big thing. We all got Unity. At least uh, me, Eric, and Andrew got Unity. <laughs> and uh... yeah. Okay, Unity was really really buggy. And it still is. But, I mean, it wasn't... The base, like, mechanics. Yeah, I don't fighting. know. I like the fighting and the running. Unity needed more time. Yeah, and... More time, yeah. They didn't admit it. Like, they just should have said, we need to delay this for, like, three, four months, and it'll be great. I think they could have made that way better than it was. Like, that would have been... with the story it had. Like, right it now, to me, the same story. that it game was, was like a 6, 6.5. If they had just taken some time, I th it would have been an 8 easily, 8.5, 9 to me. 7.8. 7.8. Too many bugs. <laughs> but, um, <laughs> uh -huh. yeah. But, uh, you, it's just, I don't know. They should have given it more time. They should have just admitted their mistakes and moved on. But they didn't. Right. And they released a broken game, and now they're paying for it with actual money understand. by shelling out free games. People will still buy your game if you just wait and fix it. I mean, yeah. gosh. Yeah. Like, but then again, did you buy Watch Dogs? That was delayed. That was going to come out in a fall thing. Yeah. But I don't know. Most people uh -huh. will. Most of the time, they will. Um, Middle Earth Shadow of Mordor was huge. And it, Apparently, for good reason. It, I heard it's underrated. It's not underrated. It's overrated because everyone's like, Middle Earth Shadow of Mordor is amazing. The freaking Nemesis system so great. Oh, it's so good. Yeah, that's all well, I've heard. I, I heard it's uh, people's game of the years yeah. along with uh, mm -hmm. yeah. Dragon Age. Yeah, Those it's definitely up there. Two their their biggest contenders. So. To be honest, Middle Earth Shadow of Mordor is the most innovative game of the year. 
like it, it's without a doubt the most innovative like it's it's not taking on good uh which there's nothing wrong with taking on good um like aspects of games and stuff and improving on them like other games did this year there's nothing wrong with that at all but middle earth shadow of mortar took on some of that and freaking added tons of new really awesome stuff like the main thing was that the nemesis system really was what they advertised like it was great it was good it made sense it made the world feel like it was like you can see in my in my like let's play that i did in the first couple of episodes like i tried to get past this area and there was always this freaking captain they kept killing me and every time i came back he was like i remember you and i'm like i know i want to kill you Cause, and i remembered the freaking name for a while you know it was very i don't know it was very living and breathing but it wasn't my it it's I don't know. It wasn't my favorite game of the year just because of like the tone and stuff and a lot of people like that, but I it didn't seem to I don't know. If I want a Lord of the Rings game, I want a Lord of the Rings game that is also happy and shire and all of that and their <laughs> friendship and all and then let's go kill some orcs and stuff. I don't want to be oh, we're going to kill I, control I the orcs with our minds. Now. There's going to be a shire Wii U game where oh, you gosh, you're no. playing as a hobbit and you're like a cooking mama. <laughs> We're chopping off the onions. I've got to get the tea ready for the party. <laughs> Let me get the roast beef. Oh my gosh. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> slam it down in like a freaking hobbit just like no. knife it. Yeah, no. <laughs> That's not what I want. Don't, don't take that the wrong way. That's not There's like want. cheery music in the background. Oh my gosh. The um, thing is, I can so imagine that. The background is puffing. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's just like one animation, like a gif that just repeats of him. And, just... Oh, this is some good beef. <laughs> yeah. And then, um, yeah, the other set of Mortar was good. It was really good. I liked it, but I just didn't, uh, I don't know. Like, like I said, I wish it was not all dark and gritty because, I don't know. My mm -hmm. favorite parts of the Lord of the Rings movies are when they conquer the dark and grittiness and they're like, ah, we beat it. Let's go back to our happiness, you know? And it's like, yeah, victory. Um, let's see. Those are some of the big ones. I feel like we only have a couple left. There was a lot of indie games that came out this year that I didn't have a chance to try that I really wish I could have, like uh, Child of Light, Transistor, Bayonetta, all those I wish I could have played. But Shovel Knight, which I will play Shovel Knight next year when it comes to PS4, but not... Not this year, so I I can't give any opinions on those. Don't think Eric can either. Shovel Knight's on PV on PC. Yeah, I'm, I ain't playing it on PC, but it is on PC, and I didn't I didn't buy it there. Um, some of the other ones it's like really Bayonetta true. two and all that, I didn't buy that. I I might I'm tempted to buy Child of Light like, since it's on sale. I also want to play Transistor, but I don't know. I I might play Child of Light on PC because it's like a short like you play through it and you're done type of thing. So I might do that. Yeah. But like Shovel Knight's, Shovel Knight's more right Yeah, Shovel Knight's more big and challenging mm -hmm. and it would take longer for me. But uh oh freaking a big game. This isn't a fall game, but this is a freaking huge game for me personally. No one else, barely anyone else freaking loved this game as much as I did. And it's not a uh new game. It's a game that was released on PS4 and Vita with cross save and cross buy freaking rogue legacy on the vita and ps4 was so good so freaking good that that's honestly like if i could i would put that in a, as a nominee for game of the year but i don't know if i can because it's not a game that was made this year it's just released on those consoles this year but holy crap that game was awesome when i was moving up here from uh from Montgomery, Alabama to Tennessee, I freaking played it so much on the Vita. Like, I got here and I had my gold headset and I had my Vita. I plugged in and I freaking sat on that couch over there and freaking played Rogue Leg. Actually, yeah, this was the time when nothing was in this room. Like, it was this desk and no furniture. No, no, nothing else was here. Yeah, nothing was here. My computer wasn't here because it was back in Montgomery. <laughs> Eric has a... I gave Eric my this old is, Vita. It Vita was that Vita. Yeah, it was <laughs> that Vita specifically that Eric has right there. Yeah. Back then, the battery... But, well, the battery actually was still broken. I, I plugged it into the wall over there and played it. But, um, yeah, it was so good. And the thing is, is like, 
it's not just like, I don't know, Velocity or something where I played it on the Vita and I had a good time and stopped. I played it and then I went home. And even when I had like League and Destiny and I was super, and well, not Destiny, but like League and some other games when I was still really into those, I would come back from when we came up here and visited it. I would come back and I'd freaking cross save it onto the PS4 and spend hours playing it there until I beat it. I played it for months until I beat it. I only really beat it in like, I don't know, freaking October, like late October. Yeah. And I started in like early September. So it took me like two months of actually. I don't know. I actually did consistently play that until I beat it, and I liked it. So, honestly, if it comes down to pure enjoyment for me, freaking that game of the year, even with Destiny, even with, I don't know, Infamous, it would be Rogue Legacy on the Vita. <laughs> but I can't. I can't do it. Game of the Year is more than just pure enjoyment. It's like, I don't know, game aspects and all sorts of quality and all that. <laughs> but, let's see... There's a couple more fall games. Far Cry, I'm really I did cover Far happened. Cry 4. We did cover that, I'm pretty sure. Uh, no. No? Okay. Well, Far Cry 4 was basically Far Cry 3, but a different place. And I still uh, really liked it, but I also haven't finished it, but I did really like it. I've um, heard and it was it's great. really great. So. Yep. Which, that's the thing. Far Cry 3 was great. And what they did was put it, oh, in, yeah. put it in a different place than... Every, that's what everyone said. They're like, it's Far Cry 3 in a different place and a different story, and it's fantastic. Because Far Cry 3 was fantastic. Yeah, I mean, but, uh, I guess if it's not broken. Yeah, don't fix it. Yeah. Yep. Um, Advanced Warfare came out. Uh, I, You know, to be honest, I really liked that multiplayer. It's I got really destiny. good. It's just I have so much other things. Yeah, it's good. It's just low on my list. Like, I have other things that are priorities over it. And right. uh, I do want to finish the single player without a doubt. The story yeah, dude, is really the single good. Player you know, is cool. I'm going to go out Basically. on a limb. I'm going to say Call of Duty Advanced Warfare is my favorite Call of Duty in a long time. Probably since Black yeah. Ops 1. I'm just going to say that. Mm -hmm. um, but I'm sorry. Now I actually like other games, so <laughs> just can't spend all the time on Call of Duty like I yeah. used to. Um, the, I'm saving Dragon Age for last. That's... Pretty much everything. Uh, oh well, we got lots of uh, we got lots of Telltale games. Walking Dead oh, season yeah. two finished this year. Um, Wolf Among Tell Us happened. Um, Dude, Game of Thrones, Tales from the Borderlands. the Borderlands. I think that's it. And there's a Minecraft one. There's a Minecraft one coming. Yes, I think that's yeah, that's it. But yeah, that that all happened, and they're all really good. Like I'm excited to see more Telltale. I finished Dude, Walking Dead season well, two recently. You it's still really enjoy good. It. I will not get the Wolf Among Us. It does not interest me. I'm sorry. I've seen it, people what? play it because it does not interest me. I've seen people play it. It does not interest me one bit. How? Because like, it doesn't. The story, I it doesn't like that story in that world. I don't really care. It doesn't look interesting. I'm I didn't sorry. care until I watched it. It's awesome. I watched it. Very I watched cool. a couple of. It's like your childhood. I, I, I didn't version. have childhood. I have fairy tales. I had childhood of, uh, well, childhood like of freaking Yu-Gi-Oh! And all that, you know? I didn't I didn't listen to fairy tale <laughs> yeah. movies and <laughs> books. <laughs> I don't know. But, um, yeah, I'm sorry. I don't care about The Wolf Among Us. I've seen it played. I've seen reviews, and I considered it, and I'm just like, nah. I don't know. It looks good, though. I don't know. It's I'm sure I'd like it, but I don't have the time or interest. Yeah, Walking Dead. It's yeah, good. Walking Dead season two was great. Um, Game of Thrones, I heard, was great. I've heard yeah. Game of Thrones was great. Yeah. Um, Tales Andrew, from the Borderlands is supposedly. Is awesome. Yeah, lo lots of people say that Tales from the Borderlands is like the best Telltale game. I've heard that from a lot of people. Wow. Yeah, it's. I watched somebody play through most of it, and it's. It looks really awesome. Like it's humorous. It's got. I don't know. <laughs> I, I don't yeah. care about the Borderlands universe, but lots of people who don't say that they've played it and they still really think it's cool. Like, they went in yeah. not expecting to like it, and it's still awesome. <laughs> There's a lot of racing games that came out this year. Forza Horizon 2, Drive Club, which was a mess, The Crew, which is eh. I don't know. I'm sure they're all pretty good for racing fans, but I'm not a racing game fan. Right. Ooh, Wii U. Lots of good Wii U stuff. Smash Bros, Mario Kart. Mario Kart. Uh, uh, Zelda game. 
Yeah, Mikey the 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 Hyrule Warriors thing. Hyrule Warriors, yeah, yeah, that's it. That's it. Sunset Overdrive was a big Xbox one, and gosh mm -hmm. dang, that's my I heard only. It was like one of their yeah favorite. That was a lot of people's like game of the year. Almost. Yeah, it's uh, it looks. I saw Clayton playing a bit of it. He bought it with some Christmas money, and yeah, if if I could play any game on Xbox, it would be that one. To be totally honest, it looks awesome. Halo Five. I, to me, I would honestly rather play Sunset Overdrive. <laughs> but Halo 5 does look freaking sick. It looks awesome. I wish I had it. <laughs> <laughs> That's like the only bad thing about switching to um, PlayStation. Yeah, I, I feel you. Halo. Yeah, I've seen commercials. It's kind of like not having your uh, Uncharted. I would die. <laughs> I would actually die. Um, yeah, okay, and the last big one for good. Fall... Dragon Age Inquisition, which I have just now recently started and really enjoy. And Would it be considered? Are you sure that's not considered uh, winter? No, it's fall. It's it's November eighteenth. Okay. Was when oh, it came okay. out. Yeah. Um. Okay. So let's just figure this out. I'm gonna let Eric go first since we're running a little bit low of, on time. We need to just we need to just get this game of the year thing, and like. Gosh. Play it in concrete. You know um, what I'm saying? I'm gonna let Eric go first and take oh, all the time you need. We totally forgot I'm one game: Alien it. Isolation. Oh yeah. yeah, one of my favorite uh, movie series. It's turned into a game that was like um, Amnesia. I think that would be story story driven and gameplay wise, and everything else was like. There was no like bugs or anything. Yeah, there well, wasn't. Not, not any yeah, there bugs. wasn't so, any bugs. I mean, it was a working game. It had a good story. Um, especially if you had watched the movie series, you would understand the references and everything. So, I think if I played it, I would probably have that as my game of the year. But I don't know. I there's a lot of games that I really enjoyed this year, but it's hard to pinpoint. Like a really like game that has wowed me this year. Nothing has really wowed me this year, but I really enjoyed a lot of games. But I think my game of the year has to go to Alien. Okay. So. Interesting. If you had to pick one that wasn't Alien Isolation, I would guess that yours would probably be Infamous. That would be my guess. Cause yeah. holy crap. It was. It was really good. Yeah. Great it was story. Like and it was freaking solid. We were acting. done. It was, it was solid. Whole. It was complete. It was great. Um, yeah, I don't. I, okay. Well, okay. I don't even freaking want to do this because I'm still conflicted as to what my game of the year is. Um, okay. I'm gonna name out the nominees. All right. <laughs> I'm gonna nominate uh, Far Cry 4, Infamous Second Son, Dragon Age Inquisition. Miller, Shadow of Mordor. And then I have one other nomination I want to give out, but it's I'm also conflicted on that one because like there are many awesome games that I played this year. Mm, I'm going to say... Let's say Destiny. Just because freaking Destiny. I'm sorry. It has, to be it has so much long longevity. Yep. I, I will be playing Destiny years from now. Like, it's just a thing. So... Even if it's not like, even Roll if the story dice. wasn't fantastic, even if like some things need to be fixed, like I, I will still be playing Destiny years from now and enjoying it. So, okay. The moment of truth. The thing is, is. <laughs> Gosh dang it. Okay, let's go through the nominations. Far Cry Four. I really enjoyed. Um, I played a lot of it, but then I sort of got bit by the Destiny bug, and I went back into Destiny, and it's, I didn't finish Far Cry. Like, I really liked it, but the thing is, I don't, I didn't finish it. I don't know. And with all of these other games, I heard ending's great. I'm not even gonna, <laughs> with all these other games, it's like, I don't even know if I'm gonna finish it. I, but it was great the time that I did play with it, but I don't. It's not gonna go to that one. So Far Cry Four, I'm sorry, you're gone. That's the problem. Bam. So da Kaboom. we're down to four. <laughs> yeah, the, the sound effect was perfect. Bam. Um, <laughs> explosion on the thumb, just <laughs> <laughs> blood everywhere. No. Um, 
Okay, let's let's discuss Destiny, but we pretty much already discussed that, so we'll just freaking fly through Destiny. Destiny, it's awesome. Yeah, I love it a lot. I will be playing it years from now. I can't wait to raid tonight. Right after this, me and Eric are freaking gonna go do the Nightfalls. Yeah. No story. Yeah. <laughs> no story, but um, it's definitely up there. But I'm just gonna rule it out because there are other games that were like quality, solid experiences. You know, mm -hmm. like more quality than Destiny, sadly. But I feel De You know what? Destiny is my honorable mention. Yeah. It is. No matter what, even with these other two that I'm deciding between, Destiny is gonna be my honorable mention because it's like my second. Because I'm gonna be playing that right. years from now. But I gotta pick a solid like experience that I had this year. Mm. And the thing is, is Infamous Second Son is was fantastic, and I love the Infamous series, and it was really, really good. Really, really good. And I had a great time with it, and I had a great time with First Light. And I finished it, and I was solid, and I could go back and play other games, and I could go play Destiny and all that. But holy crap, from what I've seen of Dragon Age Inquisition, it is so good. If I had more time with Dragon Age Inquisition, I would... I'm gonna go out on a limb and say that I would definitely choose that. But the thing is, is that I've only put like five hours into it. So I don't know if I'm gonna get tired of the combat. I don't know. I don't... So far, yeah. what I see, though, is that... My my thing with... Our, yeah, I've said it. I said it earlier. Like, I don't normally like RPGs, but I'm actually hooked on Dragon Age. Like, I want to play more. But... Just out of the unfortunateness that I didn't have enough time and to like experience it, to really judge. I'm going to say that my game of the year is Infamous Second Son. <laughs> I had to. I had yeah. to. But I, I just I wish I had more time with Dragon Age. But Infamous was just... It was so good. So good. <laughs> it was so good solid. voice acting, good, decent story. I was excited for yeah. it. It was a great story, and I finished it, and I was like, "This is good." I freaking platinumed it. Yeah, it's it's yeah. infamous. It's infamous. Mm -hmm. Um, but yeah, um, maybe I'll maybe I'll report on the next podcast or two podcasts later how how I'm doing with Dragon Age. But for now, that is that's it. We have a bit of time left. We can talk about our anticipation of 2015. Um, yeah. I honestly, I said this in the, I think the last or the podcast before. I honestly think 2015 will start to be where next gen starts picking its pace, it picking it picking up the speed, releasing finished. Yeah, <laughs> and see that good games that was so. supposed to be this year, and it could have easily been this year, but so many it's games been. just had tech problems. So like, right? Yeah, I feel like they'll smooth it out. Hopefully. Yep, we got. <laughs> Uncharted 4. Holy and, crap. And That's all I am I'm gonna talk personally about. excited for The Order. Because um, it has co-op. and it's, it's weird seeing a game that looks really, really good. Like, quality... I mean, not quality and graphics-wise. And having, like, another person there beside you. Yeah. Uh, I mean, I guess you can see that in a lot of older games. But, I mean... This is yeah. like the first game that's really been like, wow, these gra graphics are actually just really spectacular. Mm. Uh, and the gameplay looks fun. But Uncharted, The Order, and uh, I can't think of anything else right now. Halo 5 is going to come out. But I that is true. Mm. Is that going to be a fall game or is that going to be... I don't even know. Fall game, yeah. Okay. Fall. That's crazy that the beta is out now. Like a year from release, basically. Well, what they've probably been working on, they've probably had a separate team working on just the multiplayer, and they've gotten a th few maps for the beta. Yeah. And now they have a whole team, the rest of the team working on the story and other modes. Yeah. It's just crazy. You don't normally see a beta that far out, unless it's a yeah. crappy, unfinished beta. You don't see a good beta that far out. Right. But and Apparently um, it's been phenomenal. Yeah, right Clayton said that he was playing with... Um, Clayton used to play, like, game battles types of things So in Halo. Yeah, so he, he was playing with his old 
uh, he, he called him his old MLG buddy. So I'm pretty sure it was someone that actually used to like win tournaments and stuff. And he was saying that it was pretty much all he'd ever wanted from a Halo multiplayer. And they were like wrecking yeah. kids and getting all the crazy, you know, announcement there. <laughs> I was watching someone on IGN play it. Oh, and they were bad. <laughs> they were bad. So bad. And I was like, I want to play this so I can just wreck everyone. Yeah. <laughs> Man, so honestly, I mean, there's going to be tons of stuff. I really hope the Assassin's Creed is better. I've said this many yeah. times. All it takes is just Some more future. give your character a name. Like, it's super yeah. easy to fix the series. Super easy to do it. But it hasn't happened yet. So... Hopefully yeah. this year I'll do it. I said that with this one, but uh, hopefully this year I'll do it. Um, uh, the, seriously. The about Unity that really upset me was when they called you Initiate. I'm yeah, like, that was crap. <laughs> That's bull crap. But um, the big thing, like, I'm excited for Assassin's Creed. I'm sure going to play the, all these indies. I'm definitely excited for Minecraft Story Mode. I'm going to play mm. the next year's Call of Duty probably. I'm going to play any sort of destiny thing that comes out all these expansions and yeah. whatnot um, um, house of wolves yes that's gonna be cool um i mean i'm sure there will be other games but freaking uncharted 4 is going i'm calling it right now it is going to be yep. my game of the year it is going to be revolutionary Probably. i'm just saying <laughs> like and i kind of hope the multiplayer is good in that game it's going to be good that's i the really thing. liked it's going to be i really good. liked um Led the Last of Us, but I feel like Uncharted Fours is going to be like The Last of Us, but only like a little bit more fast paced and more. No. It's going to be totally different, but I do yeah, feel exactly. Like yeah, but it will it's... still have it will have the same mechanics, but it will yeah. it will be more uh, lightweight and yeah, it'll know, be it'll be as solid, you know. But still solid, yeah. Holy crap, man! Because that I am so excited for that people don't normally talk about. Because freaking, I really liked Uncharted 2 and 3's multiplayer and The Last of Us. I liked all of them. They're all good. But one thing that has sort of plagued every every uh, Naughty Dog game is freaking uh, a DLC. Like, you can just yeah. buy all of these hats. And the mm. freaking big thing, in Uncharted 3, you can buy hats that like with that you can you only boost. yeah you can only get it with real money and they give you like stat boosts like speed and all this yeah, and i'm like that's bad no, Ooh, no. no that's a huge no-no but they didn't do that with the last of us so maybe they're learning and with um yeah. hopefully with four if that's the thing is is if uncharted four is smoothed out like the last of us type of smooth gameplay mixed mm -hmm. with the Uncharted 3 system and it takes less bullets to kill someone without yeah. the DLC. If all of that is mixed together, it will be one of my favorite PvP multiplayer modes of all time in a game. Yep. Like, holy crap. I, I can't wait. There's so... Mm, Uncharted 4 is going to be awesome. Like, just the moment in that in the PlayStation Experience demo, it zooms out and you think it's a cutscene and then it zooms out and it's freaking the same time, yeah. Drake model that is in the cutscene is the same Drake model that you play mm -hmm. as. Like, that's that's not a normal thing. That's insane. Right. So, yeah, that's going to be cool. <laughs> I'm super excited. But, uh, yeah, 2015, we'll have tons of stuff. We'll still be playing Destiny. We'll, uh, we'll look into some of that Heroes of the Storm. Maybe Andrew and uh, Ryan will have better computers sometime next year so we can play some MOBAs with them they can experience what MOBAs are like <laughs> oh my gosh but I'm also hopefully <laughs> hopefully gonna be in oh gosh yeah oh my goodness <laughs> but um hopefully I will also be in like college by next like yeah. September so I probably won't even have as much time to do games and stuff but I'll try you know Streaming. I'll try and work it in I'll try and work it in but I have to cause I just you know I have to has to be done. <laughs> Who's gonna yeah. play all these games? I will. You know, I can't. I can't let somebody else do it for me. So, yeah, yeah. That's the uh, that's the end of the year. It's the end of the podcast. Um, we um, we're gonna go do our weeklies and our nightfalls. nightfalls. And and raids yeah, tonight. yeah. Well, I'll I'll go get the raid chest on both of my characters and all that. Oh, but dude, um, I'll come with you on that. Okay. I'll come with you. 
But well, I we literally have I at least have Destiny open. Right? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I I didn't open it. I would have it open, but I uh, my internet wasn't on today before. Uh, like we were planning on doing this at ten o'clock, and then I woke up. My internet was gone, and I woke up at like nine. Mm-hmm. So I went back to sleep. The, our internet was fixed at like three o'clock p.m. So yeah, the, right when it was fixed, I was like, "Let's go, Eric. Let's do this." <laughs> <laughs> So yeah, we hope you guys had a great year, a great Christmas. Um, hope you have a Sorry. happy New Year. Peace in Xbox Live. Yeah. yeah, this is true. <laughs> but yeah, yeah, yeah. Happy New Year. Have an awesome next year. And Eric should uh, play us out with whatever random item he has for today. Um, well, for Christmas, my dad's friend gave me this tiny bottle of it's like glass. But it's like this very expensive clone. Oh snap! And I, I opened it while we, we were talking, and I got it over my hand. <laughs> so my hands smell like men. <laughs> they like smell I like my men. Hand in a, a pile of men. <laughs> oh uh, gosh! In suits, like it's weird. That's fancy. And like, fancy. yeah, there's like people. <laughs> oh dang! Yeah. That is a man it's, right there. It's Gucci. Ew. <laughs> Gucci, All right, well, that was pretty um, good. Yeah. That was way to pull it out, you know, for the end of the year. Oh, you freaking oh, pulled out and, all the um, stops. Fortune, fortune for everybody in the year. Yeah. Uh, you will take over a large sum of money. There, everyone who's watching gets a large sum of money. Oh, from this was... fortune cookie. Oh, dang. Yeah. Well, we gotta get more people to watch this video now, don't we? <laughs> <laughs> all right. Well, happy New Year, everybody. Yeah. Peace. Peace.